Greetings, citizens. At HCS Voice Packs, your feedback is vital. And with that in mind, we recently spoke at length with some of the Keybind Editor users from the Star Citizen community and ticked some more boxes for the requested new features. So let's take a look at what we have in this update. First, let me point you to the new Backup and Restore feature. Keep in mind that you should make a backup before making any changes in this Keybind Editor, and that's going to be up to you to manage that. It's pretty straightforward and means you can keep a history of date-time stamped bind files. So if you make an error, you can easily fall back to earlier versions of your bind files. And this is also handy to use if CIG update the game, right? So use it for that too. So next up, the most interesting new feature in my view is the Quick Reference tab. Here you can easily view all of the bindings you've set. The key binds, joystick binds, gamepad, whatever. It's all here. You can even print them, as we've placed a print option for you to export to HTML. And not only that, you can also right-click any of these binds, right under the Quick Reference tab here, and review all the binds you've set. And if you have anything conflicting, just right-click and whatever is set with that key bind is highlighted in yellow, so you can easily pick through and identify what's using it. It's essentially an easy referencing feature where you can see clearly any other functions with the same bind. Very useful. Also, and this is killer, you can change anything you see here on the fly by just double-clicking and setting a new bind of your choosing. This makes life a lot easier, I can assure you. You can do that in each of these sections, just click the radio buttons and review each of them. And I should also point out that under this joystick section, when you do want to change something, you'll now see some options to add modifier keys along with whatever you want to bind with the joystick, which is pretty much everything you could wish for from this feature. Again, very, very useful indeed. Moving on. Another new tab is the Output Preview option. In here, you can see the changes you've recently made as it keeps a log of them all. And once more, you can make further changes from this area, and again, just by right-clicking, as it'll take you straight to the binding itself, so you're ready to review or make further changes. And you can flick between these tabs nice and easy. It's now a seriously intuitive interface. I should now get onto the more advanced stuff and the bits and pieces in here for the players that use two joysticks and this sort of thing. I'll start with the merge feature. If you have a friend that has set up their binds and you want what they've set up, they can export them to you and you can merge their bindings to yours. All of them, or whatever you select, as it allows for modular sets of binds. Just tick some or all of them. It's your call. It's this kind of feature that allows for many of you to share your setups with other users. This is especially handy if you're trying to help someone set up their stuff properly. Now let me show you something even more advanced. If you want to swap all the mappings in your output file from, say, Joystick 1 to Joystick 2, perhaps because you've added a new device to your computer and it's changed the order of everything, then our handy Swap Joysticks feature has you covered. It functions just like the in-game console command to resort devices. Going through your file and swapping everything from, for instance, Joystick 1 to Joystick 2, saving you the trouble of using console commands in Star Citizen to repair your setup. Moving on, we also have the Configure Mappings feature, which often appears if you're a VJoy user or have multiple devices with the same name. For example, if you're using a HOSAS setup with two identical sticks on the left and right side, this feature helps the tool identify which joystick is which, allowing you to swap their joystick numbers as needed. It doesn't edit the bindings themselves. Instead, it ensures that when you're setting new binds or updating, the correct device is saved in your output file. You can also open this feature manually to check which physical device is mapped to each joystick number in your bindings file. Well, that's about it for this update. But I will say this, and I'm just repeating the feedback we've had so far, and I quote, this is by far the best binding mod I've used for Star Citizen, and all of this stuff is an absolute godsend. Like I said, that's not me saying that, and you've only got to visit our Discord channel to see all the feedback so you don't have to take my word for it. Instead, come by the channel and get involved. Otherwise, this update is now live, so check your inboxes or go grab your download right now. That's all for now, folks.